Before using LogoPress ProgSim, you must have first created a strip layout using the LogoPress strip layout function. As you can see here, we already have uh, the trim tooling in the strip layout, and that will be needed because uh, that will be used to trim away the, the stock as it feeds through the die. And we also need the whatever forming tools, or at least the geometry for the forming tools uh, to, to upload into ProgSim. Uh, so right here, since we do have the trim tools already, we don't have to worry about that. We, we do need to have the form tools for the stations. Uh, we can either create the forming punches and dies directly into the strip assembly, but in this particular case, uh, the forming tools are in the tool assembly already. So I am going to open up the tool assembly. And here you can see that the uh, the tooling for the form on the die and also on the upper right here. So first I need to, I'm going to return back to the strip and I'm going to cr insert some parts into the strip assembly that will uh, contain the forming geometry. So first thing I'm going to do is using SolidWorks, insert components. I'm going to insert a new part. And I will give it a name. And I'm just going to put in the strip assembly folder. And this will be 2603 underscore. This will be for the upper forms. So I'll just say this is uh, U, U form, upper form. Hit save. And so now you can see down here saying select a face or plane uh, which to put the new part. I'm just going to select the front plane of the strip assembly and then exit out of the sketch. It, you, we could sketch something in and extrude it, but I'm just gonna exit out of the sketch. We don't need to. And get out of edit mode. And next I'm gonna insert another um, part a new part again. This one will be 2603 underscore. This will be for the upper pad, upper form pad. So let's say U pad. Again, it's asking us to select the plane. I'll just select the front plane and exit the sketch and get out of edit mode. So now we got two parts in here for tooling. Now we need to do it the same thing for the lower tooling. So we'll insert new part again, 2603 underscore. Uh, this will be the lower form. I'll select the front plane and exit the sketch and get out of edit mode and one more part to insert. This one will be 2603 underscore lower pad. Again, select the front plane, exit sketch and get out of edit mode. So now we have our four parts in there for our different four different types of tooling that we need to import geometry into now. And I'll save this. And now I need to go to the tool assembly because that's where the geometry is. And we'll start with the upper tooling. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and select the two form punches and the pad. And I'm just going to isolate that. 
you right click or actually let me exit i'll select them again in case you are new to solidworks i'm holding down the control key selecting them right click and isolate and it just hides the rest of the tooling just makes it a little bit easier to see and now what i need to do is i need to find that tooling in the strip assembly and actually you can see here that it's hidden so technically i need to have the strip assembly also visible so i'll click on it and show the strip assembly and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i need to edit the part that i had inserted in the strip i need to edit it in, in context of the tool assembly so i'll click here and I'll select edit part. So I'm editing the upper form. I'll expand it. And now I'm going to go to logo press and I'm going to select a logo press function called faces merging. This will import surfaces into this part that I'm editing right now. So I'll say, well, first faces merging. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and select tangency. And you can see here, it got all the tangent faces of the form. If there are certain faces that you do not want to include, say they are not touching the, the, the stock as it's forming, you can deselect them because then uh, there's less faces to analyze as it's forming. So I can just left click on these faces right here if I do not want those included. I'll click OK, and I can only do one punch at a time. It can only select faces that are, are adjacent to each other. So I'll click OK to this one, and then I will start up faces merging again. And here you can see the surfaces that were imported into that part. And I'll do the same thing over on this side for this, for this punch. So right click, select tangency, make sure I have all the faces I want, and deselect, left click and deselect out of this box, the ones I don't want. Of course, we could have just left these if we wanted to, but just to clean it up. Click OK. And there's the surfaces for that side. So that's for my upper form. So now, let me move this out of the way. I will get out of edit mode. And I have to do the same thing for the upper pad. So I'm gonna select the upper pad and edit the part in context of the tool assembly. And I just need to, so now uh, I need to get into faces merging again and select the face of the pad that contacts the strip and click okay. And there's my tooling for the upper pad. It's just a surface body and get out of edit mode and i am going to exit isolate and it brings back the rest of the tool now i need to do the same thing for the lower half of the tool so i'm going to go to logo press and using the uh, logo press filters just show the lower half of the tool and if these surfaces from the upper form and upper pad are getting in the way you can always click on these and just hide those two parts we don't need to see them there we go so now i can select the lower form and edit the part in context of the main tool assembly and Again, if things are a little bit too difficult to see, we can always have isolated what we, only what we needed to see. But in this particular case, um, I'm just gonna go into faces merging and here's the lower form die block. I'm just gonna right click on it and select tangency and make sure I have everything selected and click okay. And there's our lower form. Get out of edit mode and now edit the lower pad. Go into faces merging 
And here's one pad right here. If I hover over, it says low front draw pad. So I'll just click on that top face. That's the only thing that's going to contact the strip. Exit face is merging. There's we've got one surface for the lower pad. And I need to do the same thing over here. Go back and the face is merging. Again, you have to do these separately because they are not adjacent to each other. They aren't touching. So we have to do them separately. There we go. Get out of edit mode. And there I have my lower tooling. And again, if you didn't want to see them, you can always click on these two parts and hide them. And then when I return to the strip assembly, you can see that that tooling is now in the strip assembly. And these can be selected when going into ProgSim uh, for the tooling geometry. So if I go into ProgSim right now, And there we can see sort of proxim. And if we wanted to say uh, select the upper form tooling, we just come over here and, and say uh, double click on the upper form and it opens it up. And you can tell it to, uh, you can put focus here and select the part that it's linked to, um, that's totally optional. But since they're already visible, I can just select the faces and right click, select tangency. There we got the faces on that side. Right click, select tangency, and we got the faces on this side. And if we want to, we can check the element so that we're only oh look at that it only caught the one side so let me go back to select entities again select tan and see there now i got it i must have missed it before Let's check element yep those are the faces for the upper form and you click ok and then you would do the same thing uh, for your lower form and to add in for the lower pad element and the upper pad element, you would select these icons. And that's how you import geometry into the strip and then select it as a uh, tooling element.